Hey guys! Did you know that China has earned the nickname Infrastructure Maniac? This nickname is not derogatory, it reflects foreigners' astonishment at the speed of China's development. In today's video, we will showcase mighty Chinese construction technology that leaves American engineers in awe. But before we dive in, we kindly ask for your support by liking this video and subscribing to Machine Eye. We value your thoughts and invite you to share your opinions on these remarkable construction technologies in the comments below. Without further ado, let's embark on an extraordinary journey. This short film perfectly showcases the awe-inspiring technological prowess of China's colossal dam construction projects. The Baihetan Dam is currently the largest hydropower project under construction globally and the second largest in the world. The dam serves as the core structure of the hydropower station, carrying out crucial tasks of water storage and flood control. The dam body of Baihetan is a 300-meter class ultra-high concrete double curvature arch dam with a maximum height of 289 meters. The central line of the dam crest spans 709 meters, and the design incorporates six diversion bottom orifices, seven flood discharge deep orifices, and six flood discharge surface orifices, making the structure highly complex. The dam is divided into 31 sections, with the total volume of concrete pouring reaching 8.03 million cubic meters, surpassing the combined volume of three Great Pyramids of Giza. Being the largest hydropower station under construction in the world, with the highest level of comprehensive technical difficulty, the construction process of the Baihetan Dam has set multiple world records. We must admit that Chinese engineers are truly remarkable in their capabilities. You see, China has once again demonstrated astonishing speed in engineering construction. The Yanshan Overpass Bridge, an iconic structure in a city in China, was successfully dismantled in just eight hours. This feat has not only amazed domestic and international spectators but has also sparked discussions online. The bridge, which once connected the two banks of the city, had become inadequate for modern traffic needs due to years of disrepair. The local government decided to demolish and rebuild the overpass bridge to improve urban traffic efficiency. However, the entire demolition process took only eight hours. Chinese engineers showcased their outstanding technical and organizational capabilities, precise planning, and unparalleled execution, attracting global attention with the renowned China Speed. Just 48 hours later, the brand new Yanshan Overpass Bridge stood proudly in the city, as if by magic. Next, let's explore how Chinese engineers install the main cable, weighing over 16,000 tons, on a suspension bridge and ensure its 100-year lifespan. People are curious about how the slender main cable on a suspension bridge can bear the weight of tens of thousands of tons without breaking. How do engineers install the main cable over the vast Yangtze River? And how do they guarantee its 100-year lifespan? Taking the Wufengshan Yangtze River Bridge in Zhenjiang, China, as an example. 
This typical suspension bridge has a main span of 1,428 meters, with a river span of 1,092 meters. It requires two main cables, each weighing over 16,000 tons, with a tension capacity of 90,000 tons, equivalent to lifting a large aircraft carrier. The main cable is not as thin as it appears. It has a diameter of 1.3 meters and consists of 352 strands of lock bars. Each lock bar is 1,932 meters long and weighs 48 tons. Composed of 127 steel wires with a diameter of 5.5 millimeters, these lock bars are high-strength parallel wires treated with a corrosion-resistant zinc aluminum alloy layer, reaching a strength of 1,860 megapascals. The main cable is extremely robust, eliminating concerns about breakage. Let's see how the main cable is installed over the wide river channel. Below the suspension bridge is a construction passage called the catwalk, used to install the main cable. Before installing the main cable, workers establish anchorages and thread the main cable through the top of the bridge pier using a guiding wire rope. Then, the cable is lowered onto a tugboat by the riverbank. The tugboat pulls the guiding wire to the opposite bridge pier and connects it with another guiding wire. Winches on both banks tighten the guiding wires to the appropriate positions, ensuring safety. Each catwalk requires the installation of eight guiding wires. Once the catwalk is completed, the installation of the main cable can begin. The installation process of the main cable takes several months. Workers use a cable traction system to pull each lock bar from the northern bank's anchorage to the bamboo saddles at the top of the towers. The bamboo saddles evenly distribute the force on the main cable, change its direction, and transfer the pressure to the main towers. At the end of the main cable, there are anchorages where the cable is dispersed and connected to the anchoring system, relieving stress on the anchor bolts and ensuring structural safety. After the installation of the main cable, anti-corrosion treatment is applied to ensure its corrosion resistance over the 100-year lifespan. Engineers tightly wrap the 352 lock bars using a wire winding machine and heat shrink them with steel wires and high-performance composite wrapping bands, isolating the main cable from the external air. Additionally, an active dehumidification system injects dry air, reducing the humidity of the main cable and extending its lifespan. Through the aforementioned steps, the installation and anti-corrosion construction of the bridge's main cable is completed. In this way, through the efforts of Chinese engineers, a towering and majestic suspension bridge was built. Furthermore, another remarkable achievement by Chinese engineers is the relocation of a railway station. The movement error of 532 jacks is automatically controlled within a tolerance of 2 millimeters, ensuring consistent progress. Within just 38 days, the main station building of a long-distance passenger station, measuring 288 meters in length and weighing 30,000 tons, was successfully relocated and reinforced with steel bars and concrete, ensuring subsequent safe use. This is the world's first long-distance and large-radius building relocation, opening up more possibilities for future cities. The creativity and professional competence of Chinese engineers are awe-inspiring. Through exquisite technology and innovative engineering methods, they have achieved seemingly impossible engineering miracles. These projects are not only a manifestation of speed, but also the crystallization of Chinese wisdom and the spirit of hard work. Let's salute China's engineering capabilities in the spirit of pursuit of excellence, eagerly anticipating China's continued creation of astonishing miracles that awe the world. China has the world's most dedicated laborers, whose extraordinary efforts have set countless world records, leaving Americans scratching their heads in disbelief. They represent the cohesion of China and embody the national spirit. They are equally deserving of remembrance and praise. This is the explanation behind the nickname Infrastructure Maniac for China. Have you gained a better understanding of China's amazing engineering and construction technology? We would love to hear your thoughts and insights in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with more fascinating content. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care and goodbye.